We've had a split. Meet me at the shack in the morning. Right. Good night, sweetheart. Good night, Daddy. And sleep tight. Tomorrow we are going for a long, long ride. Work to Daddy. Oh, to a place where there are lots of pretty lights and a nice new home to live in. So you just close your little eyes before the Sandman comes. Don't draw, Ben. No gunplay between you and me. You're not taking me, Bill. This money means more to me more than... More than our friendship, Ben. Yes, Bill. More than... I'm sorry, Ben. It was... It was all my fault. I never did anything like this before. Oh, I, I know that, Ben. Why did you draw on me? It was a long chance, and I took it. A chance to take Mary, my baby, away from here and raise her among decent, respectable people like her mother was. Baby? What? Why, I... I didn't know you had a kid, Ben. Sure. The mother died three years ago when Mary was born. It just seems, Bill, I... I couldn't get along without her. Couldn't get any work. Lost job after job. Now, take it easy, Ben. I'm going to get you to a doctor. Too late. Makes no use. I'll be with her soon, Bill. Don't let the kid know about this. See that she's taken care of. Promise me, Bill. I promise you, Ben.
My daddy. Your daddy has gone on a long, long journey. And he wanted you to go away with me in the morning. Isn't he ever coming back? You'll see him again, someday. Now, close those little eyes. Be a good little girl and go to sleep. That's it. Sleepy. Gentlemen, I've come to ask you to accept my resignation. Wow. Your resignation? We ain't going to yeah, ask you. Bill, you're taking this too much to heart. You were only doing your duty. If you hadn't killed him, why, he would have killed you. I know, I know. That's all right, Tom. But you know, this is pretty tough. Tough game, this sheriff business. When duty makes it necessary for a man to, to kill his friends and rob children of their fathers, I guess I've had enough of it. Oh, I I realize that law and order must be upheld, but I think you'd better get somebody else to do it. I'm through with guns, forever. But the kid, how about her? I've made arrangements to, to adopt her legally. From now on, I am her father. She must never know. That's why I'm leaving this part of the country for good. You're sorry you feel this way about it, Bill. We we'll sure miss you. Goodbye, and good luck to you. Same to you, Tom. And you, boys. Goodbye. Sorry to see you. Bye, Bill. Bill. Here you go, Bill. Well, Bill, I'm sorry you're leaving. Yeah. I imagine so. You know, Brent, I believe you were with Brokaw last night. Yeah? Yeah. Don't forget, there'll be another man take my place here, and my advice to you is keep out of trouble. Thanks, Bill. Maybe we'll be meeting again sometime. I hope not.
Waiting for Ray, Mary? Yes, Dad. Ah. Where are you going? Oh, I'm just going down to the express office for a while. It won't be long. You boys stay here. I'll round up Mason. You say he's still driving a stage? Well, that's what the boys claim. If he is, it's a cinch. I don't know how you figure. You said he used to be plenty tough. That's right. He used to be. But he hasn't handled a gun in years. And besides, I can just about make him do anything I want him to. Well, sounds interesting. You go locate him and we'll wait here. You better follow me into town in about a half an hour, Joe. All right. Sorry, Mary, and I can only stay a little while. Dad sent word that he wants to see me. Said it was important. How's your dad, Ray? He's getting along fine, Mary. As soon as Dad gets out of the hospital, Let's look around for a little ranch somewhere. I... I've been thinking it all over, Ray. I just couldn't leave Dad right now. Why, no one wants you to. We're going to take him right along with us. You know, Mary, your dad is the best friend I have. He thinks a lot of you too, Ray. But he worries about your being a ranger. Thinks it's too dangerous for a married man. Well, I'm only taking Dad's place until he's able to ride again. Time no see. How's the world been using you? What are you doing here, Brent? Oh, me and some friends just drifted up from the border. I hear you're driving a stage. Yeah? I haven't any time to talk to you now. I must be going. I've come a long ways to see you, Bill. I'll walk a ways with you. I've got something mighty important I want to talk to you about. Come on. Let's get out of town. Hey, what about Brokaw's daughter? You mean my daughter? Yeah, that's right. Your daughter. She must be quite a young lady by now. What's on your mind, Brent? Come on. I understand you're driving the stage tomorrow. No, not tomorrow. I only take the stage out about twice a week. Alternate with another driver so his family can at least eat. <laughs> you always were kind-hearted, Bill. Now then, listen and get this. There's 50,000 on that stage tomorrow. Oh, so that's it, eh? And you're helping us to get it. I'll see that you don't get it. Now then, you wouldn't want your daughter to know who she really is. That you're the man that killed her father. And that he was an outlaw. You wouldn't dare to tell her. Why, it would ruin her life and mine. You... You'll do just as I tell you, Mason, or she'll know everything. Don't think that I've kept track of you all these years for nothing. You did me out of a pretty bankroll when you killed Brokaw, and now you're going to pay it back. Oh, so you were in on that job too, eh? Right. Well, Bill, what's it going to be? What do you want me to do? You'll stop the stage and tell the driver that you've got a tip that Lobo and his gang is waiting for him ahead. 
suggested he give you the money. Knowing you to be an honest man, he'll give you the dough. After he leaves, we'll take charge of it. And you can tell the express office that Lobo caught up with you before you got to town. You see, if you don't do this, Bill, we'll have to shoot the driver and the guard. So you'll be saving their lives. And yours, too. Now then, I'm going to be your guest for the night. One false move, one word of warning, and the girl will know everything. Besides, you'll be joining Brokaw. If I... If I go through with this, Mary will never know. That's right, Bill. She'll never know. You'll be watching Mason's house tonight, Joe. Tell the boys that everything is fixed. I'll see you in the morning. Right. All right, Mason. Will you be over for dinner tonight? I don't think I'll be able to make it for dinner, Mary, but I'll be over later. All right. Bye, honey. Bye. going to stop with us tonight. How do you do? It's a real pleasure to know you, Miss Mason. I first saw you when you was about three years old. Really? Yes. Your father and I are old friends. I, I'll take your hat, Brent. Excuse me, please. Get down. Mighty pretty girl. A mighty fine girl. Hello, Dad. Hi, Sam. How you feeling? Oh, pretty good. The boy sent word you wanted to see me. Yes. There's 50,000 going out on the stage tomorrow. Now, you know all the boys are down on the border. I'd feel safer if you rode with it to Springdale. Sure. I'll ride the upper trail. Who's driving? Jake. Nobody knows this money's going out, so I don't look for any trouble. There won't be any guard along. They think that'll throw off all suspicion of a money shipment. That's not a bad idea. What time does the stage pull out tomorrow? The usual time, about 9 o'clock. Fine. I'll take care of everything, Dad. Dad, what would you say if I got married? To marry, eh? I've kind of suspected this for some time. Well, she's a mighty fine girl. By the way, the boys have been talking about having a sheriff for this end of the county. Now, you know, I've been covering a lot of territory. A sheriff would be a big help to me. I, uh, had Mary's father, Bill, in mind for the job, and the boys seemed to think that he was just the man. Gee, that'd sure be great. Now mind, don't you say anything to Bill about this. Don't worry, I won't say a word to anybody. That was a 
mighty fine meal, Miss Mason. I'm glad you liked it. That's Ray. Excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you had company. Oh, that's quite all right. Just an old acquaintance of Dad's. Hello, Ray. Hello, Lil. Mr. Brent, I want you to meet Ray Burton. How are you, Burton? How do you do? Uh, Ray is the son of Jim Burton, head of the Rangers. Oh, yeah? I've heard about that father of yours. He's made it pretty tough for a lot of the outlaws in this country. Is he here now? He's laid up for the time being. However, the doctor says he'll be up and around in a few weeks. Well, I'm right sorry to hear that. I guess his riders are taking care of things, though. They're all down on the border, on the trail of El Lobo. El Lobo? I don't think I ever heard of him. Where does he operate? Between here and the border. His gang is responsible for my dad being wounded. But the boys will run him down. Yeah. They always get there, man. Come on, Ray. We'll visit in the kitchen. You'll excuse us, please? Oh, certainly, dear. The Rangers, kid, eh? It's a lucky thing I'm staying here tonight. What a swell chance you'd have to spill everything. But who is he? Where did he come from? I don't know. He came home with Dad. I'm almost afraid of him. He won't take his eyes off of me. How is it, Mary? Your dad never carries a gun. I've never been able to find out. I've asked him many times, but he always avoids answering me. I've the gun you gave me in my room, and I'll lock the door. Well, I'd better be running along, but I'll be over the first thing in the morning. Don't worry. Everything will be all right. Dad said Brent was leaving town tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Oh, Ray gone home? Yes, Dad. He has to get up early. What time do you want breakfast? Oh, don't you bother about that, Mary. Brent and I will get breakfast in town. Good night, Dad. Good night, my dear. Good night. Good night. And you'd ruin the life of a, of a lovely girl like that. That's entirely up to you, Mason. Good morning, Mary. How is your visitor behaving? Haven't seen him. He and Dad left real early. I wonder who he is and what it's all about. I don't know, but Dad seemed terribly worried. Well, I have to hurry back. I'm riding with the stage today. I'll see you later. Goodbye. Be careful. I will. the disguise, Mason. In case of trouble, I don't care to be recognized. Get ready, men. Here she comes. doing here in the fifth? 
Jake, we're covered from ambush. Give me the money quick. It means our lives. I get you. Let it go. Mason's got the money, all right. Brent's with him. He'll take care of the kid. I reckon we better head back for the wash. Brent said he'd meet us there in case of trouble. Come on. I didn't know. Those clothes. Oh, Dale. What happened? Why did you do this? I can't understand it, Mary. Brent and his gang held up the stage. I opened fire and followed two men here. I didn't know. Dad was probably trying to save the money. That must have been it. There may still be a chance, Mary. I'm going for a doctor. Just a crease. Get, get me a little water. You 
You're to blame for this. Not me, miss. You can blame that fool ranger kid. He did this. No. No. Ray isn't to blame, Mary. He thought that... He didn't know it. He didn't know it was me. Ray's gone for a doctor, Dad. I'll get a bandage. Thank you, Mary. Hey, help me up here, will you? Brent, I'm... I'm still pretty, pretty warm. A little dizzy. That was a close call, Mason. Yeah. Where's the money? Don't worry. I've got it. But listen, you've got to get out of here right now. That kid and the stage driver both know that you were mixed up in this. The kid's gone after a posse to round us all up. You'll never be able to explain without telling her the truth. You'd better both come with us. You're right, Brent. You're right. Uh, go and saddle the two horses in the corral. Mary. Never mind that now, Mary. Listen. This man, Brent, is the leader of a gang of bandits. They got the money from the stage. Our only chance to get it back is to go away with them. But, Dad, I'm afraid of Brent. Don't worry about him. I'll watch him. But, Ray... But we leave him a note. All right, Dad. Anything you say. All right. He's gone, Doc. Explain to Dad that the stage was held up and I'm following the outlaw's trail. I might not be back for some time. All right, Ray. Bailado por la famosa pareja Paul y Pauline.
Brent. When are we going to split that dough? Now, don't be a fool, Joe. All that money is in $1,000 bills. We can't get rid of it here. Every bank on the border will be looking for it. Wait till we get into Mexico. Oh, so when are we going? What about Mason? I'll take care of Mason. It's not him I'm interested in. <laughs> the girl, huh? Maybe. I think you'll find that all the boys are figuring the same way. But you tell the boys if they expect any of that money to lay off. And that goes for you, too. And it won't do them any good to bump me off. Because I'm the only one that knows where that money is hidden. And speaking of girls, I feel a dance coming on. Buckle that belt.
three. Same here. Deal them up. As soon as I locate the money, we're getting out of here. Keep your eye on Brent. Listen, Joe, we've got to get out of here right now. You know, I've been thinking. Maybe just you and I could use that money. That's the best idea you ever had. But what about the boys? I've got that all figured out. I've got a box of dynamite planted just on the inside entrance of the cave. We can fire at it from the outside here. That'll collapse the entire wall. I guess that'll take care of the boys. I got you. But what about the girl, Mason? The girl's going along with us. And Bill, we're going to send on a nice long ride. Now listen. Now then, you be ready with a rope. I'll bring him out here. Right. One. I want to see you a minute, Bill. How about a hot cup of coffee, kid? You're taking your last ride, Bill. A pleasant journey to you. <laughs> Say hello to Brokaw for me. Just left. We're to meet him at the old shack yonder. You two get mounted and we'll be on our way.
Thanks, Ray. We're just in time. I reckon Brent's responsible for that. Right you are, son. We've got no time to lose. They've got Mary. Take this gun. I know you've never carried a gun, Bill, but Mary's life might depend on it. Now raise your right hand. Huh? I'm deputizing you as a ranger. You might be needing this, Joe. That kid ranger. And Bill. Come on. You draw their fire. I'll circle around. Back in that corner and stay there. Don't worry, Joe. They'll never take us with a girl here.
down, Brent. Draw. Fair enough, Mason. But, Dad, have you seen him, Ray? He's all right, Mary. I just left him. All right, you. Get going. You know, Ray came. They sure had a close call. Wonder what's up. The whole town's looking for you, Bill. The whole town? Looking for me? What for? Congratulations, Mason. Congratulations. Look, what's the meaning of all this noise? You better go out and make them a speech. They've just elected you sheriff. We've known it all day, Dad. E elected me sheriff? Me? That's right, Bill. Congratulations. You better get out there. They're waiting for you. Wait. Oh, <laughs> 